All right, y'all. Uh, end of the day on Wednesday. Um, getting ready to head in for church, get some uh, dinner and, and have some church. And uh, there's there's the first pod. Um, I know I said I was going to be able to knock the other one out today, too. The, the, I ran out of glue. Actually, I had just enough glue sticks to get everything uh, done here. Um, it's a bit more complex than, uh, than anticipated. You know, I went ahead and boxed all this in as well around that motor mount. Because I'm not sure how far under I want to go with a flange. Uh, if I want to put a flange at all. If it's just on the outside, just, you know, including the... I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, just not sure exactly how we want to do it. And as it is, we had to cut a little piece out of that back there just to clear this gusset on there. So um, what does put that piece back in we got to put this piece back in as well um but this here uh we're to cut out around the uh the frame we're going to leave that so uh that'll take care of itself whether this is actually going to have a physical bottom in it uh with, with that cut out around the motor mount or not don't know i gave myself the option to do that um it's all filled in so we can do it we could not whatever um if we could completely encase this thing in fiberglass, then we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to cut it apart, you know, to get it off, cut it down the middle, and pull each side off. Um, or, or we just cut it right on the edge, right? Because once we put our secondary piece on, and this is what I'm thinking, instead of doing just an inch and a half of this surface, you know, to say here you know, and around to say here on the bottom and then gluing this to a flange. I'm thinking about doing this whole, doing this whole piece, but keeping this one layer, this would be two layers. And that way it won't be too heavy when we glue it back when we glue it all on. Um, if we want to encase this whole thing, uh, to cut it apart, to get it off, we can cut it right on this, right on this seam, right on this edge. Because why? Genius. We're going to put a little fillet in here anyway, right? Uh, to fill all this in so it's rounded and that'll hide any of the, the sin from the cutting. You know, there won't be any, any visual uh, markings on it. Usually, uh, you know, you can't use Bondo on this. If you watch the other videos, you know when you, when you uh, are going to do the body working to the outside because this will be raw glass. Uh, the inside is going to be smooth. The inside of the fiberglass piece will be relatively smooth. It'll, it'll have... Uh, the the masking tape gets covered, right? It, everything's going to get covered first with resin to stiffen it up. We'll grind the edges down. We'll cover everything in masking tape, little green seal or part all on there, and then a couple coats of, of mold release wax too, just in case. Then we'll lay glass on it. Um, but when you do body work, you're going to have to body work it because it's going to be the rough side. Like this side will be up on our part. Um, that's the penalty you pay when you're making a moldless composite like this, right? Um, we're not going to make a mold and then take parts out of it. We're just going to make, uh, we're making a mock-up and we're going to pull a part right off it and then throw away what's left. It'll be garbage. Um, we're only going to get one set of these. So um, when you do that body work and if you were to say cut it right in the middle, you really got to gotta be careful what you're using on here, what type of material you're using uh, we make our own filler with the resin, right, and, and uh, grinding dust from cutting and grinding fiberglass to make our own filler. Or we'll use some microspheres. That sands really nice, too, if you hit it at the right time. And it won't transfer anything f from the original piece up through any primer and paint. Because when this thing sits in the sun, after it's been completely done, primer and paint and everything, um, if you've bored a hole in it, and then patch the hole and, and just, you know, you did some Bondo work on it, prime and paint. As soon as the thing sits in the sun and it gets hot, this is going to react different than that, than that polyester filler. And uh, you'll be able to see it. You'll see the ghost marks. You'll be able to see everything you've done. So uh, got to be very careful what you use to do body work on this, on this fiberglass, on this raw glass. So um, it looks pretty cool, man. I mean, it's obviously looks exactly like the profile uh the profile views looked right we just made it 3d um and it's rough right now you know i mean it, it there's some waves in it and all that kind of stuff it's all good 
what, what we'll do at this point is is brush the resin on it and get it get it wet down into these these uh, corrugations because we're going to knock this corner down and we're going to you're going to end up with a big gap here. But if this stuff's good and stiff, we'll just be able to cover it with tape because it's going to be on the inside of our part. Right. Just seal it up so the resin's not dripping and running through. Um, so there you go. Uh, one down, one to go. Then we'll get to the then we'll get to the quarter panels, right? We got to get uh, get out and about and get us some uh, some hot glue, um, and and we'll keep plugging away. Uh, Rich was over today, welded up the uh, nerfs. Appreciate it, Rich. Uh, welded everything up real good. As soon as we get an air compressor that works, uh, he's going to come over and start doing all the metal finishing uh, of the spots, the plug welds, and all that stuff, and on the nerfs and the stuff we worked on on the chassis, and get it cleaned up. Um, and ready to, to mount the master cylinders. We can Then we can run brake lines and all that stuff. We're going to take it to the track, like I mentioned in that last video, just the way to just the chassis. Um, we're not going to go hog wild to get all this body work done for the, the shakedown, basically, at the track day. Um, so, you know, um, it, that saves us a lot of time. We can, we can do some of this body work stuff. And I've still got to get my cart uh, back over here and uh, we we had it. You saw it. We had it running and everything, and it's all good to go. There's some, some little things I wanna I wanna work on before uh, before we get it uh, ready to go in the trailer, so to speak. So a um, few more weeks. Um, we, like I said, we'll get all this stuff probably resined. Maybe even we lay glass and stuff, and then just let them sit. I don't know, but uh, we still gotta uh, once we get the quarters and in, in the the half panels across the rear to meet the motor and we've got to get working on this this nose and uh it's really just going to fit you know to a point out here like an indie car just around maybe just a little top edge to it you know um it's gonna look cool it's gonna look really cool when it's done so hang in there hang with me folks watch this thing uh come together and come to life um i hope you enjoy this stuff I hope you guys exercise your own muscle man you can do this stuff it's not rocket science you know you just have to see it and draw it and and start building it um it's just a bunch of what we call egg crate bunch of support pieces in there and there's no method to it you just keep keep gluing pieces in until it feels good and strong um that's it for today god bless godspeed get to church it's wednesday night you can join me i'll put the uh Put the link in the, in, in the description below. See y'all. Hope to see you there. Hang in there.